So I've got a piece of text here and I want to animate it when you click a button in JavaScript. Before I get to the animation, I need to set up my SVG properly. I've gone ahead and fixed up my artboard here. You can see it's nicely set up. But this is some text, and so I can get uh, Illustrator automatically convert it to outlines for me, but it will do one big outline. So I want to do the convert to outlines myself here, and then I'm going to ungroup it and group it the way that I want. So I want to have the I and the exclamation group together like all this, and it would be a good idea to give them all um, IDs. So let's call this one exclaim. This one, letter O, letter N, letter I, and letter D. So that gives us some IDs in the SVG that we create. So here's my Illustrator file set up nicely the way that I want. So I'm just going to go to save a copy and get the code out like this. And I'm going to go to the compression utility here paste it in and just simplify it a little bit here. Fix all these things. Oh, the precision of one did a pretty ugly mess on that. How's two look? Okay, let's keep it at two. Um, let's do the rest of these things here. Right, so there's my nice optimized SVG. And if we go look in here, we have everything grouped together. Each of them has their own ID, which is nice. So we'll go and download this and it's ready to go and be used with JavaScript. So I'll open up this SVG in here and I'm going to copy this stuff so I can embed it in my HTML right here like that. So I've gone ahead and set up my HTML just a little bit. I have a div right here. I've got the class of Word on it, and I've got a button right here that I want to be able to click on. Let's go in my browser and preview this. There we go. So here's the class of Word. Let's style it a little bit to make it a little smaller. Uh, width of 20 rem, I suppose. All right, so I want to trigger an animation when you click on the um, button. First of all, I need the animation. So right here I have paths, letter D, I, N, etc., and exclamation mark. So I'm going to start by creating my animation. Let's go at keyframes. Let's call it um, big. If I, if I can spell that, that's what my animation is going to be. So at zero percent, I'll have I'll go transform scale of one, and then at one hundred percent, transform scale of one point five, I suppose. So let's target letter D and do our animation here. So we can make sure it works. The typo. May shun. Oh, there we go. I cannot type. Let's go with 200, 250 milliseconds, I guess. And we want it to happen two times and alternate like that. So let's just go and make sure we test this in Firefox so it works. All right, so that was our animation. Hopefully you saw that happen. Oops, I opened Safari. So that happened really quickly. Um, I don't think 1.5 is way too much. Let's try again. All right, let's go even smaller, 1.1. There. So there's our little animation. And what I want to do is when you click trigger, I want to do that to all the letters. So I'm going to copy this here and paste it. So change this to letter I. And now I want the same animation to be applied to all of them. So you can see their path elements here, but they also have this class of ST0. That came from Illustrator. That's way at the end. So I could use that uh, to style them. So let's go with .st0. And let's put the animation on there like that. 
and I'll delete it from these. Let's go check Firefox. All right, now I want them to happen at different times. So letter D doesn't really need anything, but letter I needs an animation delay of, uh, let's go 250 milliseconds like that. Let's see how this works now. All right, and we'll just keep doing this for the rest of them. So N would have a 500 millisecond delay. Letter O, that would be 750. Ooh. And last one would be exclaim would have a one second delay. All right, let's go try that out. All right, there's our little animation. Now I want that animation to be triggered by JavaScript, not by automatic. So right here you can see that the animation is being applied to ST0 immediately, but we only want it to happen when we click on the JavaScript. I've gone ahead and included jQuery here, but I haven't actually created my JS file, so I create that now. Trigger SVG. All right. Now, the technique to make the SVG animate is no different than any other element that we have. So we have our class here, btn trigger, and we have our class of word. So we're going to want to get access to those. btn trigger. All right. And we'll do dollar sign btn trigger dot on click and we want to target word and we want to add a class to it js animate like that so let's just double check that that's working when we click the class so there's our div or click the button so you can see here our class is getting added all right, so now it gets the class of JS animate. So all we need to do is change this to JS animate space st0. So it will only get the animation when it has the class of JS animate. We'll go refresh so it doesn't do it right away, but we click the button here and it triggers my animation. Now, if I click it again, we have that same issue we looked at before with the animation end event. So we could do that. We'd want to target word and listen for animation end. And remove the class from it like this. So now when the animation completes, our thing may work. Nope. Okay, because it's not the word that's actually the animation's triggering on. It's actually on the ST0. So we need to use event delegation in here like that. Now that doesn't work either because it's ending the animation after the first one fires. So then we'd have to count how many there are and wait for the last one. So we could do that. We go var. Uh, count equals zero. So how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So if count is greater than or equal to four, then we want to trigger the animation off like that. And we'll go count plus plus. Now that should maybe work. Nope. Oh, <laughs> helps if you press the button. All right, there we go. Oh, and then at the end, of course, we need to set this back to zero. Okay, here we go. It's going to work this time. I'll click it again. There we go. So what we've done is we've used our SVG knowledge and our JavaScript knowledge in order to create this animation that when you click on this, it triggers some sort of animation on the text that is actually an SVG graphic. And I've just uh, played around with the animation event here, animation end event, so that we could trigger the button.